Come you blessed of my father, says the Lord. I was sick and you visited me. Truly I say to you, whatever you have done to the least of my brothers and sisters, you have done it for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate and commemorate today the memorial of St. Elizabeth of Hungary, established the works of mercy, preparing our hearts to celebrate this Eucharist and to exalt the Lord in glory. Let us acknowledge our human weakness and seek God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through through my, my most grievous, grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, Grant to her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw that in the right hand of the one sitting on the throne, there was a scroll that had writing on back and front, and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a powerful angel who called with a loud voice, Is there anyone worthy to open the scroll? and break the seals of it. But there was no one, in heaven or on earth or under the earth, who was able to open the scroll and read it. I wept bitterly because there was nobody fit to open the scroll and read it. But one of the elders said to me, There is no need to cry. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed and he will open the scroll and the seven seals of it. Then I saw, standing between the throne with its four animals and the circle of the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been sacrificed. It had seven horns and it had seven eyes, which are the seven spirits God has sent out over all the world. The Lamb came forward to take the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And when he took it, the four animals prostrated themselves before him, and with them the twenty-four elders, each one of them was holding a harp and had a golden bowl full of incense made of the prayers of the saints. They sang a new hymn. You are worthy to take the scroll and break the seals of it because you were sacrificed and with your blood you bought men for God 
of every race, language, people, and nation, and made them a line of kings and priests to serve our God and to rule the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. You made us a line of kings and priests to serve our God. You made us a line of kings and priests to serve our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. You made us a line of kings and priests to, to serve our God. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. You made us a line of kings and priests to, to serve our God. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips. This honor is for all his faithful. You made us a line of kings and priests to serve our God. not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he came in sight of the city. He shed tears over it and said, If you in your turn had only understood on this day the message of peace, but alas, it is hidden from your eyes. Yes, a time is coming when your enemies will raise fortifications all round you, when they will encircle you and ham you in every side. They will dash you and the children inside your walls to the ground. They will leave not one stone standing on another within you. And all because you did not recognize your opportunity when God offered it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In scriptures, there are two occasions that you will find Jesus weeping or shedding a tears. One is in the Gospel of John, at the death of Lazarus, he would shed a tear. And the second occasions that you would find in the Gospels when he weeps is in today's Gospel, the Gospel of Luke, when he steps into Jerusalem. The whole image that has been before him in Jerusalem, the city of God, the house of God, the temple of God, the reign of God, is in a state of devastation. In spirituality, we call this the hour of visitation. The hour of visitation, the moment of God's visitation. When God visits and God is taken aback with the life that you and I live, the struggle that we find ourselves in. Because Jerusalem, as you know, has been, always been pictured as the center of God's presence and dwelling. The marketplace that had been turned into and how God was so devastated. The city built on a hilltop has now become a marketplace. And Jesus sheds this moment of tear. 
of what has happened at the hour of that visitation. Just to recall it, the two beautiful churches that we spoke of the past few days, Sardis and Odysseus, dead and lukewarm. The book of Apocalypse told us how they were living their life. Caught up with so many things of the earthly life, they forgot about the heavenly dwellings. They were so preoccupied with the earthly moments that they failed to see the end of that life's destination. And John, in the vision, the past days, in the book of Apocalypse, book of Revelation, today gives us this whole experience again of what is known the assembly of God, the assembly of the faithful at the end time, what reigns at the end. Maybe it's good for us to just take a moment this day as we begin this day. Am I so preoccupied with the many things of this earth that my whole life is centered about the earthly temporal things of life that I fail to see the presence of God. I'm so taken aback with the last line of today's gospel because you fail to recognize the opportunity God gave you. You failed to recognize the opportunity, simply meaning the grace God gave you. You failed to recognize it and you missed it. I've said this opportunity comes from the Latin word op pot. Op is one spot is where the ship dwells. And only once where you get it. You missed it, you missed the opportunity. And scripture tells us you missed the opportunity when God gave it to you. My dear friends, every given moment of our life is a moment of visitation, for no one knows the hour. Revelation 3.20, I stand at the door and I knock and I knock. If only you would open the door, I would come in. Let us not miss the grace of God's opportunity every time he knocks at our door. At the hour of his visitation. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may by the example of St. Elizabeth of Hungary be confirmed in love of you and in love of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. To your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, 
so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina, John Paul II, and Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With faith and confidence, we now turn to God the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her 
peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ. Truly I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by the sacred mysteries may follow the example of St. Elizabeth of Hungary, who honoured you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity at a service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.